Here we have a video on Ellora Caves. The speciality of this monument is that it has been built of a single rock. This form of architecture is called monolithic art. Next we have Mount Rushmore. The figures of four notable American presidents have been carved on this rock. This is a tribute to them. Next we have pyramids. Pyramids is a sign of Egyptian architecture and culture. In fact, one of the seven wonders of the world, that is the Pyramid of Giza, is composed of limestone, which is a type of rock. Apart from sculptures and buildings, rocks are also laid on railway tracks to ensure safety of rail transport. Thus, we can see that rocks are used by human beings from prehistoric times till today. So now, let us learn about this valuable element. Now, where are rocks present? Rocks are present on the outer layer of the earth. In fact, the outer layer of the earth that is composed of rocks is called lithosphere. Now, lithosphere is a part of both crust and uppermost part of mantle. Thus, the outer shell of the earth that is composed of hard rocks is called lithosphere. So, rocks occur naturally on the earth's surface. So, now let us learn about the meaning of rock. So, what is a rock? Rock is a naturally occurring substance that is composed of one or more minerals. So rocks occur naturally on the earth's surface and they are composed of solid crystals of minerals. We know rocks are composed of different minerals and due to this rocks have different characteristics. First characteristics is hardness. Now rocks can be hard or soft. For example, we saw in the previous video that rocks are also laid on railway tracks. Now these rocks are very hard, whereas rocks can also be as soft as clay. Thus, rocks can be hard or soft. The next characteristic is luster or shine. Now rocks can be metallic, glassy, earthy or pearly. For example, a rock which is rich in a mineral called quartz has a glassy texture. Thus, rocks can be metallic, glassy, earthy or pearly. The last but not the least characteristics is color. Now, rocks might be light or dark colored. For instance, the rocks that are rich in silicon and aluminium are light colored. Next, the rocks that are rich in magnesium are dark colored. And the rocks that are rich in iron have a red hue. Therefore, we can see that due to presence of different minerals, rocks have different colors. Thus, rocks might be light or dark colored. So, we have learned about different characteristics of rock. The first characteristic is that rocks can be hard or soft. The next is luster or shine. Rocks can have a metallic shine, glassy, earthy or pearly. And the last is color. Rocks can be light or dark colored. Now, why do rocks have different characteristics? Rocks have different characteristics because of the presence of different minerals. Now, both rocks and minerals occur naturally on the earth's surface, but there is a difference between them. So, why do rocks have different characteristics? Rocks have different characteristics because of the presence of different minerals. So, what is a mineral? Now, before we understand what is a mineral and what is the difference between a rock and a mineral, let us first consider 
a plate of mixed noodles here a plate of mixed noodles represents the rocks because while discussing the definition of rocks i discussed that rocks are composed of different minerals thus this plate of mixed noodles represent rocks and the vegetables like onion or spinach or the shrimp added to the dish represent different minerals present in the rocks thus rocks are composed of different minerals but what is a mineral so now let us define a mineral so what is a mineral a mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic substance with a definite chemical composition and a crystalline structure so a mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic substance that is minerals occur naturally on the earth's surface and it is a solid substance that is it is hard and solid next it has a definite chemical composition definite chemical composition means that they are composed of a particular element for example copper mineral is composed of copper element silicon is composed of silicon element that is they are composed of a particular element and have a definite chemical composition and next they have a crystalline structure and because of this rocks also have a luster or a shine so these are the few common examples of minerals that are found on the earth surface they are copper silicon iron and calcium now apart from this there is another mineral that is oxygen which is abundantly found on the earth surface but oxygen is quite different from these minerals because oxygen is found in gaseous state now these minerals are very valuable to us because they help in proper growth of living beings now where are minerals found we know rocks are composed of minerals thus minerals are found in rocks in fact the rocks that are rich in a particular mineral is called an ore and how can we extract these ores from the earth surface we can extract these ores from the earth surface through a process called mining see here we have the picture of mining and this picture explains that by the use of these vehicles mining is done and it is used to extract minerals thus minerals are extracted from earth surface by the process of mining now before we proceed with our lesson let us answer this name the process by which minerals can be extracted from rocks is it mining manufacturing cultivation or transportation minerals can be extracted from rocks by the process of mining now we just learned that minerals are present in rocks and where are rocks present rocks are present on the earth's crust now the earth's crust is not uniform throughout which means that now the places that are rich in diamond there we can find diamond mines and from diamond mines we can extract a mineral called diamond now again the places that are rich in copper there we can find copper mines and from these places we can extract copper mineral thus rocks are composed of different minerals and minerals can be extracted from rocks by the process of mining now both rocks and minerals occur naturally on the earth surface but what is the difference between them so now let us compare between rocks and minerals i have mentioned several times that rocks are clusters or aggregate of different minerals and minerals are composed of different elements for instance diamond is composed of an element called carbon copper 
is composed of copper element. Now, rocks are heterogeneous and have no definite chemical composition, while minerals are homogeneous and have definite chemical composition. Now, what does this mean? Rocks are heterogeneous, which means that some rocks are rich in copper and they are called copper ores, while other rocks are rich in iron and they are called iron ores, while minerals are homogeneous and they have definite chemical composition. For example, the chemical composition of diamond found in India is same to the is similar to the chemical composition of diamond extracted from USA. Thus the diamond found in India and found in USA both will have the same chemical composition and therefore minerals are homogeneous. The next point of difference is their types. Now, rocks can be classified into different types based on their formation. That is, the different types of rocks are igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. While minerals can be classified into different types based on their chemical composition. And the different types of minerals are metallic and non-metallic. Now an example of a metallic mineral is copper and an example of a non-metallic mineral is diamond. So here we have understood the differences between rocks and minerals. Rocks are composed of different minerals while minerals are composed of different elements. Rocks are heterogeneous while minerals are homogeneous and have a definite chemical composition. Rocks are classified into various types based on their process of formation. They can be igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic while minerals are classified into metallic and non-metallic based on their chemical composition. So, we have understood what is a rock and different characteristics of rocks. We also discussed that rocks are classified into various types based on their process of formation and they are igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. So, in our next videos, we will discuss about these different types of rocks in details. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now